want to do is like look inside. Yo, I used to live in this house like six years ago. I grew up in this house. Hello? Is it right there? Or? I don't know. Hmm. It doesn't, see, it doesn't seem to want to play. Now, if it were me, I would have let you in. Because you, uh... Excuse me. Huh? You have what? Oh, that's all right. What if we take a look in the backyard? Can we do that? All right, thank you. Oh. <clears throat> uh, do you remember the backyard? Yeah. We used to have, we used to have, <laughs> we got struck by lightning. We used to have, we used to have two childs back here. Uh -huh. Got our house. Now who is it, just you and your mom? And Yeah, me, my mother, and my little brother. Do you have like swings and stuff in the backyard? or? Yeah, we used to have this one little swing, it uh -huh. was right there. Then this is where the garage used to be, where all these trees are. Uh -huh. This used to be like a little thing for the birds. But it was always empty. Yeah. Was your family pretty happy when they were living here? Relatively speaking. Uh, it was all right. It was all right. It's just me, my mom, and my little brother. Yeah. Is this where the garage was? Yeah. Got burned down and shit. What was your mom doing at the time? What was she doing? Yeah. Um, nothing really. She wasn't working. I mean, Going to bingo a lot. Eminem is one of the most successful artists of the 21st century, and there are a few others who can say the same. Despite his fame, he's never been one to call Hollywood home like most celebs. Eminem has chosen to stay in his original state, Michigan, for the most part, and has called the same mansion home for years. You guys have been requesting a house tour on Eminem, so here it is. In this video, we'll be giving you all the details on his main estate, his Rochester Hills mansion, and more. Marshall Bruce Mathers III, we all know as Eminem or Slim Shady, is a rapper, songwriter, record producer, actor, and more. He's credited for popularizing hip hop to a middle America audience, and the person who comes to mind for me when I think of the first white boy in the rap game. All of Eminem's albums were worldwide successes and bestsellers, selling a total of 220 million records over the years. He's had 10 number one albums on the Billboard 200, which all debuted consecutively at number one, making him the only artist to achieve this. Eminem has also received countless awards of which include a whopping 15 Grammys. Not to mention he had the unique experience of starring as himself in the drama 8 Mile back in 2002, which won the Academy Award for Best Original Song. At the time of this recording, Eminem is 47 years old. He's a father to three daughters, Haley being his only biological one, but the girls are all grown up now anyways. Despite his rough and humble beginnings, he's achieved a crazy amount of success. His estimated net worth is about $230 million. Hey guys, it's Karen, today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be taking a look at where Eminem calls home, the mansion he's allegedly lived for years now, and his other properties. Detroit, Michigan is the man's hometown, and let me tell you, he's never strayed far. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Dr. Dre and Lindsay Lohan, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. <laughs> So the main things we know about where Eminem currently lives is that the home is massive and he's lived there for quite a few years now. Like I said, he likes to stay in his home state of Michigan and seems to be happy here. His main mansion is said to be in Clinton Township, Michigan, which is a part of the metro Detroit. It's the most heavily populated area here as well. I'm sure that when Slim Shady was a kid, he never thought a fancy suburb would be his neighborhood. He bought this place way back in 2000 and it cost him under 1.5 million. These days, his home may have increased in value, but it doesn't matter really because it looks like he's staying put. His mansion sits on more than five acres of land and from aerial views of the place, you can see how massive the property is. Inside the house spans about 9,000 square feet of living space and has 6 beds and 9.5 baths. I mean, some were saying it was a downgrade when he moved from the Hollywood Hills, but I disagree. It's a palace. Eminem's house was built in 1996 originally and has been renovated since. 
It's remained the rapper's primary residence throughout his legal and marital trouble with Kim Scott, his twice married and twice divorced ex-wife. Despite the history of the place, it remains Eminem's ideal family home. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to see much of the interior of Eminem's mansion and he keeps his living space notoriously private. You can imagine how grand the place is though and we do know some of the features. Besides all the common areas like a grand entry, common spaces like living and dining areas and the kitchen, he has an impressive master suite too. In fact, there are 21 total rooms in the house apparently. Not to mention the grounds are perfectly landscaped and Eminem even has his own lake. To go with the private lake, there's a fishing dock and other features on the property include a tennis court, golf course and 5 car garage. But we'll see what he keeps in that garage in just a little bit. It's been said Eminem has two nearby mansions in Michigan, but he actually listed the other one back in 2016. This mega estate was in the Rochester Hills area. Rochester Hills is a wealthy suburb of Detroit. It's in the northern outskirts of the metro Detroit area, home of Oakland University, and ranked one of the wealthiest cities in the state. It's also among the 50 most educated cities in the US. Eminem bought this place in 2003 from the former CEO of Kmart for about $4.8 million according to CBS Detroit, so that's why they nicknamed it the Kmart Mansion. Unfortunately, the value declined and I believe he had to sell it for around $1.9 million which was a huge loss for the rapper. This was because all the home values across the Detroit metropolitan area took a turn for the worst. The Rochester Hills Mansion sat on 5.7 acres of land and had 6 beds and 8.5 baths. In total, it was said to be 17,500 square feet with 22 rooms altogether. The home was built back in 1986, but of course had a ton of renovations done when Eminem purchased it in the early 2000s. The interior of Eminem's previous mansion had a lot of wood paneling and floor to ceiling windows throughout, so it was full of natural light. It was heavily secure, perfect for a celebrity, and even had a guardhouse right outside the main entrance. Each of the six bedrooms had their own ensuite, of course. I mean, with all those bathrooms, it's expected. Not to mention there was a two story, 1500 square foot entertainment room, bigger than most condos. I think that this mansion looked more modern than his longtime home, especially the outside, which had a neutral color scheme. Even more impressive than the inside of the mansion was definitely the grounds. Eminem's property here had so many features, it's hard to keep track. Amenities included a tennis court that was later converted into a basketball court, a large waterfall pool and spa, surrounding patio and lounge area, and an entertainment cabana. Elsewhere on the property, there was an oval shaped pond, three car garage, and guest house with its very own games room. Before we wrap this house tour up, let's see what Eminem keeps in that giant garage on his property. Like many celebs, he's a fan of luxury cars and keeps quite the collection. First up is Eminem's Lamborghini Aventador, a car that's a sign you've really made it. They start in the ballpark of 400 k to purchase and can go up to 700 k or more with add-ons and modifications. The Aventador may be one of the fastest cars he owns because it can reach 100 km per hour within a couple seconds and has a top speed of 350 km per hour. Eminem also has an Aston Martin V8 Vantage, a Ford GT, an Audi R8 Spider, and another top of the line car a McLaren. It seems like Eminem has a couple favorite cars because he has multiple models. This would be for Ferraris and Porsches. He has four Porsches we know of, three which are different 911 models, and one is a Porsche Carrera GT. In terms of Ferraris, the man has three, including a 599 GTO model and more. Now these aren't all he owns, they're just the ones we know of. It's said he has even more in his collection, not listed here. Anyways, now we've seen where Eminem's living in Michigan and the mansion he's called home for almost 20 years now. Clearly he's comfortable being close to his hometown and remains in Detroit. He just upgraded his neighborhood a lot. At one point, Eminem did apparently have a party mansion in the Hollywood Hills around the early 2000s, but I guess LA living just wasn't for him. He also had that gorgeous, even bigger estate in the Rochester Hills area, but he sold it a few years back. Okay guys, now I'll read out some comments from previous videos. On our Joe Exotic Zoo Tour for Tiger King, ya boy Norm's vlogs wrote, I saw this documentary and it's pretty crazy. Carol Baskin killed her husband. Watch her body language, it's so obvious she fed him to the cats. I feel like this has become the general consensus with everyone. I really wonder if it's true. On our Paris Hilton house tour, Quinn and Boy said, Paris Hilton reminds me of Aubrey Hepburn. Paris Hilton is love. I agree. I love her too. She's such an icon. I hope to meet her someday. 
All right, guys, that's all I got on Eminem's mansions. I wish we could see more of his longtime home in Michigan, but the man is notoriously private with the inside of his place, and it's understandable. I guess we'll just have to wait and see if he ever gives us a glimpse inside. If you guys know any more about his real estate or something I missed, be sure to tell me. What did you guys think about Eminem's mansions? I personally like the one that he sold in Rochester Hills. Sucks that he lost so much money selling it. Let me know in the comments, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!